payment of the wall. Uh, that'll be for a later date. This was a very preliminary meeting. I think it was an excellent meeting. Earlier, Hillary Clinton weighed in on Donald Trump's Mexican trip. It certainly takes more than trying to make up for a year of insults and insinuations by dropping in on our neighbors for a few hours. President Obama talked conservation in addressing a Lake Tahoe summit today. We embrace conservation because healthy and diverse lands and waters help us build resilience to climate change. California Governor Jerry Brown noted that the unprecedented steps taken to protect Lake Tahoe over the last 20 years proves that beauty transcends politics. I'm Barbara Kusak. The first of what will grow to more than 100 daily flights between the U.S. and Cuba completed its first run today. JetBlue Flight 387 made history when it touched down in the central Cuban city of Santa Clara. It was the first U.S. carrier commercial flight to ferry people between the United States and the island nation in over half a century. Before a U.S. citizen can board a flight to Cuba, they have to sign an affidavit swearing that their travel falls within the permitted categories. These include educational, humanitarian, and cultural person-to-person -person exchanges. I'm Steve Kastenbaum. Florida Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency in 42 counties as a tropical system bears down on the region. He says forecasts are calling for 5 to 10 inches of rain, maybe more. The risk we have right now is we know we're going to have storm surge. It's anticipated to be 3 to 5 feet. However, we have the risk of up to 9 feet of storm surge. I'm Barbara Kusak. Hey, we love Burger King grilled dogs. They're made with 100% beef and they're 100%. Mm -hmm. They're so good, they make us want to sing like... I can't believe it. Burger King made a grilled dog. Made with 100% beef. Flame grilled anytime you want. Labor Day shouldn't mean labor at your grill all day. Get out of your backyard and get over to Burger King for a classic flame-grilled hot dog for just a buck. It's the Dollar Classic Grilled Dog deal this weekend, only at Burger King. At participating restaurants, valid September 3rd and 4th, limit 5 per transaction while supplies last. Attention all authors. Page Publishing is looking for authors. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Page Publishing will get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, Apple iTunes, and other outlets. They handle all aspects of the publishing process for you. Printing, cover art, publicity, copyright, and editing. Call 800-501-3689 now for your free author submission kit. That's 800-501-3689 for your free author submission kit. Again, 800-501-3689. If you would like to become a wholesale buyer of the premium quality longevity product that you hear about right here on the Tantalk Radio Network for personal service, you can pick up the phone right now and call Lola at 727-441-3311. Again, that's Lola at 727-441-3311. Or for even faster service, log on to TantalkHealth.com. That's TantalkHealth.com. Here's your health and longevity. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Marsha McAllister from Beacon of Hope Ministries. We want you to join us on Sunday afternoons at 3 o'clock on this radio station for our two-hour show, talking to you about the Word of God, giving you great contemporary music, some lively chat, and just some food for thought. You'll be encouraged to know how very much God loves you and how He has a plan for your life. Join us this coming Sunday at 3 o'clock on Living the Good Life. I am disgusted with your sharing of health problems. Who in the world wants to hear about your freaking problems? Sorry, Bill, that I have cancer and it's bumming you out in your pathetic little tedious life. Here's what I want you to do. Get in your Crown Victoria, get it going about 90 miles an hour, and take it into a concrete bridge above. Heard the new Imus lately? On the stations of the Tantalk Network. Catch Imus in the morning right here. There's only one place on the radio where golfers like you can turn for the best tips, interviews, product reviews, local tournaments, and everything golf talk. The Golf Show, guys. Hey, join the Golf Show, guys, every Wednesday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's not just funny, it's informative, it's celebrities, and it's a lot of applause. It's the Golf Show, guys, Wednesday mornings from 9 to 10 a.m. right here on the Tan Talk Radio Network.
Hi, this is John Austin, host of the Book Club on the Tan Talk Radio Network. I spent 35 years in publishing, and today I want to tell you about a book that could change your life. The book is No Cash, No Problem. The author is Dave Wagenford. Dave Wagenford is one of the greatest barter experts in the world. He's bartered over $500 million in goods and services. If you want to remodel your home, but the cost is just too high, or maybe there's an automobile that you have dreamed of owning, but thought you just couldn't afford. Well, this book will allow you to do both of those things, plus hundreds more with little or no cash. Maybe you're a business owner with a cash flow problem that leads to low or non-existing profits. Read this book and see how you can increase your cash flow and your profits by time-proven techniques. The book, again, is No Cash, No Problem, and you can buy it now online at www.tantalknetwork.com. Click on the book and follow the instructions, or pick up the phone and call Lola at 727-441-3311. The book costs only $6.99, so do yourself a favor and buy the book today. Don't turn it off now. You need this stuff. Tampa Bay's Tan Talk Radio Network. Welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Everybody comes here. This is Hollywood. Land of dreams. Some dreams come true. Some don't. But keep on dreaming. This is Hollywood. Always time to dream. So keep on dreaming. All right, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. No, it's not a monsoon. It's Hollywood Connections. Now your host, the lady with all the connections, Miss Dawn Reitz. All right, lights, camera, action. You're on. Hi, everybody. I hope you're staying dry today and you're driving safely. I know there's a lot of accidents on the road. And welcome to Hollywood Connections. I'm Don Reese, your host. And we have some exciting things happening today. We've got a couple of film festivals calling in. We've got major people calling in. We've got artists. And uh, we have a special VIP guest. King James is in the house. And Yvonne and will be listening. And uh, she'll be calling in shortly, my beautiful co-host. And uh, maybe she'll stay on the air with us because... Everybody, remember the Price is Right TV show. Well, I've got some exciting news with Kathleen Bradley at 6.30 and 7.30. So please tune in because there is a business deal for those of you that want to make some extra money. Uh, who doesn't, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think everybody could use some extra money. Yes, Kathleen Bradley, the first African-American model on the Price is Right, calling from Los Angeles, got some exciting news for everybody. And you too, King James. You too, Peter. Okay. I know. Yes, this applies to everybody. Everybody. So anyways, let's go to the weather because I know everyone's wondering when is this going to be and I guess I'm not going to the Lazy River tomorrow. No Lazy River tomorrow <laughs> or uh, Friday. The um, weather that we have now, it's not really necessarily associated with uh, Tropical Storm Hermine, which is uh, out in the Gulf of Mexico and is uh, forecasted to uh, hit landfall in the Big Bend area, which is... Um, maybe about 150 to 200 miles north of us. Um, With that being said, the, uh, you know, we're going to have just a uh, a small to moderate uh, tidal surge. The, uh, the rainfalls are going to be astronomical since today Largo had over nine inches of rain by three 30 this afternoon. And it's been raining constant steady since. So uh, the ground is saturated. Uh, people need to be wary about large trees. They do fall over with the ground gets saturated. Um, that's probably the, one of the biggest threats. With uh, an event like this, we don't have a whole lot of lightning usually. So, um, But when in doubt, you know, certainly if you're thunder, you certainly need to be indoors. And you cannot be driving through uh, water if you cannot see the roadway. Very dangerous. Um, we lose a lot of lives by people... people uh, turn around. Don't drown. Don't drown. <laughs> exactly. And uh, if you can't see the road, there's a reason why the, you're not seeing the road is because there's a great deal of water on it. It only takes one foot of water to displace a car of running water. And you can find yourself floating down into off the road and into the, reten- into the retention ponds that we have numerously all over the city. All parking lots have a retention pond. You may not realize and drive right into a retention pond. Uh, with that being said, we're going to have rain for um, Thursday. Is going to be a lot of rain. Friday is going to be a lot of rain. Uh, Saturday, we should, a lot of rain. <laughs> yeah, we should start to dry out a little bit. Labor Day should be the best day of the three-day weekend. Um, 
And uh, that's about it. We have Tropical Storm Hermine, and uh, hopefully it'll remain a tropical storm. It won't become a hurricane, but we all must plan that it might be a hurricane. But this is a good trial run for Pinellas County and Citrus County and Pasco County and all the northern counties for a uh, a real weather event. You know, if this was a Category 3 or 4 storm, we would really need to be on our toes Um with something like that bearing down on us. But we needed, this is a sharpening deal. This is a test run for the counties. It's a test run for the local communities and the governments and the schools. So, um, you know, hopefully everybody can learn something out of this event. Well, I would say because uh, tomorrow I know the schools are closed in Pinellas County, and, I, you know, I would hit the malls. You know, I'd go see Michelle over there at Origins at Tyrone Square Mall. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know? Good really. place. Good, safe place for the kids. Exactly. It is an indoor atmosphere, and uh, the kids need to be indoors, that's for sure. So you can certainly uh, drop them off at the local malls. I'm sure they'd be thrilled. Okay, well, that's Mr. Burt Arnold. Of course, he is my husband. He is the producer of the show. And I would not be on this show, you know, because of my husband. That's right. You know, because we're working on getting our commercial spots and our airtime. So if you have a business out there and you would like to be one of our, you know, commercial spots, please, please go to hollywoodconnections.biz and uh, check us out. And you're going to see what Kathleen Bradley is all about as well on that site. And uh, we're super excited to uh, tell her, you know, what she's working on. Now, in the meantime, we have a lady named uh, Mina. Is she on the phone? Yes, I am. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Great, great. Now, you are calling because you have some exciting news for an event that you're working on? Yes. Um, the Global Peace Film Festival is coming up in Orlando and Winter Park, Florida, in Orange County on um, uh, September 19th to 25th. And actually, there's a couple, there are four films. Uh, coming up in uh, in Mount Dora for the Global Peace Film Festival between, on the weekend of the 9th to the 11th of uh, September. That's really exciting. Now, you know, I, I can't wait because we're going to have our, our reporters there on the red carpet. And uh, oh, do you have awesome. any celebrities that are, are, you know, booked for your event as well? Uh, mostly we're a documentary festival, so we have a lot of filmmakers who are our VIPs. Mm -hmm. um, we're waiting. There, there may be in a week or two, um, hopefully a week, um, some some uh, surprise information about about a special guest or two. Celebrity wow. special guest or two. Well, I have to talk to Johnny Martino. He was in the movie The Godfather. He lives right in your neck of the well, kind of Ormond oh, Beach area. Yes, absolutely. Just send him our way. I know Johnny Martino. He's awesome, and um, so that would be great. Now, what is your website and also tickets to go see your event? It's peace. Filmfest.org. That's P E A C E F I F like Frank I L M F uh, like film I um, F E S T dot O R G. Um, tickets are on sale there. You can find the schedule there. You can find information about all the films there, and there's a link to buy tickets. Oh, that's so cool! Now, how long have you been working with the film festival? Um, I created the festival, so oh. it's, this is its 14th year, so it has been a long run for me. Wow. Now, are you a film director yourself? I've, I'm not a director. I have directed some things. I've been more of a film producer, and I started my career as a film editor, um, but I've produced, uh, I've, I've produced several festivals, of not only film festivals, but other kinds of arts festivals, uh, and I'm much more of an event producer. Okay. You know, can you give some, because we're going back in the schools called Be Cool, Stay in School, and uh -huh. uh, we're talking about different careers for the kids, and, uh, you know, Hollywood Connections is actually doing this. We'll be on tour soon with this. And any advice of anybody that would like to do something that you're doing as a role model to the youth out there? Oh, absolutely. You all have devices that you can use to make your own films, and just start doing it. Um, if you have an idea, just start shooting and and. Think of your story and and create. Um, it's uh, anybody can do it these days because of the because of the accessibility of the equipment, and so it's not nobody's too young to start. So that's what I'd say to kids. Well, I, I just go out there and sh and film anything um, on any device. I mean, there was a there was a really uh, fantastic film last year that was shot all on an iPhone. I agree. 
You know, what Robert Evans told me, remember from Paramount Pictures? Uh-huh. How to yep. Lose a Guy in the Ten Days, The Godfather? I yep, met him, yep. and we were on the red carpet down at one of the film festivals in South Florida. And uh, it was so cool because he's like, you know what? Get out your cameras, get out your phones, and start editing now. And then, you know, on the phones, there's editing. You know, yep. these kids know this stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. They, and they know, it, they know it better than we do. Right, and get it to the film festivals, and that's why, you know... I'm so glad he said the same thing as I'm saying. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Well, you know... Actually, and, one of my earliest one of my earliest trailers were... I, actually, I worked on two Bob Evans films. Did you really? Yeah, I, I cut the trailers, uh, or I worked on the trailers um, for Urban Cowboy and Popeye. That is... We need you in the studio. When can you come to Clearwater? <laughs> really? Well, my next month is really busy. So. I know it is. I know. We're, we're going to cover... I mean, my reporters are really good, and, you know, they, they're they excited to be there, and, um, you know, it's really about networking, exactly. helping the film directors. Absolutely. And we have some, you know, we have some really interesting films. We're, a lot of what we're doing is sort of commemorating what happened in Pulse and, and basically saying, love love triumphs over hate and we have to and we have to recognize and embrace everybody in the community and so a lot of our programming this year um centers around that we even have we even have a short film by a local orlando filmmaker about her her reflection reflections on, about paul Okay. Well, what what about this? People ask me all the time, you know, they like I have King James. He's my co-host today. And uh-huh. say hi. Hello. How are hi. you? Hi. Ha- how are you, James? I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, it's so interesting because uh, listening to you about the kids, I work with kids too, teaching them. And as I teach them, I, uh, they teach me. I teach uh, African drumming uh-huh. rhythms. Uh-huh. But oh, wow. see, cool. uh, they, we have uh, our own American rhythms that we grew up with. Yeah. And it's in, in our DNA as well as, you know, in Africa. We're t- although I'm teaching uh, with the African drums, However, we can play any rhythm on that drum, and they come up mm-hmm. with the rhythms uh, that they grew up with, like lullabies that I teach uh-huh. them how, oh. you know. But they teach me, too, as well, because I, I put it out to them that they can make up a rhythm. And when they yeah. make up and create, just like you say on the videos, uh, these kids, are they got the latest ideas and uh, beats of the street. Well, oh, I totally agree. Mm-hmm. My thought list, too, is, you know, people ask me, like, King James, you know, are you interested maybe at the film festival to try something fun? Maybe put, like, a, a drum circle on stage where people are coming in. Um, or, you know, I have an artist here that I'm looking at, these young girls, and their CD, their package, they're called Fame. Image. Image. Uh-huh. I- yeah. Image, yes. Yeah. And is it something that you might be interested? I'm not putting you on the spot. I mean, I can <laughs> s- send you some well, things. We should, we should talk off the air about that. Oh, for sure. I need to know. I need to know a lot more and, and um, see how it fits into it because I can see we always try to involve um, other arts. In fact, one of the things that we do, the thing that opens the festival on Monday the 19th is not a film, is we do a kindergarten through 12th grade piece art exhibit in the Orange County Public Schools. And there is a reception, an opening reception in Orlando City Hall um, for that exhibit where all the kids whose work is shown uh, get certificates and prizes and things like that, and um, so that's the that's the opening of the festival. And we have all kinds of uh, one of the things we have this year on Saturday morning. Um, there's going to be yoga on on the lawn at Rollins College. Um, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. always looking to to do different, you know, bring in different arts, bring in different um, uh, different events. To you know, to enhance the experience for all the audiences. That's great. What about your youngest uh, film director? Would you say? Because I know, I know, I have one of my young uh, reporters. He sent out things to the film festivals, and he's like, you know, fifteen, sixteen, and uh, you know, and people don't realize you don't have to be, you know, forty, fifty to send in your films. This year, we don't have a really, really young filmmaker in the festival, and I'm not exactly sure. How, I'm sure we have a, at least a couple in their 20s, mm-hmm. but the youngest filmmaker we ever had was several years ago, we had a nine-year-old filmmaker. Oh, wow. wow yeah, I mean, so it was a really just... sweet little film. It was a short film, um, <laughs> and so it went, you know, it went in a, in a shorts program, uh, and he was in school, so he couldn't, he, he was uh, from Illinois, so he couldn't. His mother didn't want to take him out of school to <laughs> to, yeah. to bring him to the festival. But 
but um, it was a really adorable film, and uh, and he was nine. Wow. Nine years old. See, that's uh-huh. the kind of that's the kind of filmmakers you know. We want to help, but you know, if you have anybody that wants any exposure, I wish I wish I I wish I was still his mother was still in touch with us. I want to see what he's doing now. Oh, for sure. Cause, well, because I think he's probably close. I think he's probably around thirteen by now. Okay. I don't, don't remember exactly how many years ago that was. Well, well, I know that you have a super exciting schedule coming up, and, and I look forward to being there on one of the days that I can pop over. And again, give everybody your website and where to buy tickets. Okay, it's peacefilmfest.org, uh, and that's the website. Tickets are on set. Information, the schedule is there. The locations are there, um, and you can buy tickets there. But tickets are available at every location before films start um, when when. Uh, we're at the, you know, during the festival. So we always keep tickets aside. Um, we always keep tickets um, aside so that people can just walk up spur of the moment and buy a ticket. Okay, that's really great. And we'll, and we'll... just so, so you know, it's $8 a ticket. Um, and for students with ID, it's $5. You can't go wrong at all. And and we're just yeah. a hop skip over to Orlando. Everybody Absolutely. goes there. Absolutely. Yeah. For Absolutely. sure. Well, I, uh-huh. and I there's so much to do here too. So, well, we're excited to have you back in our studio with us whenever you can get over here. You're more than welcome to be our guest over here. Oh, look forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you. Another film festival on the on the phone, and thank you so much for calling in. Thanks for having me. All right. God bless. That's what it's all about, you know, on on everything. Let's go to the interview with um, one of my top reporters that may, that actually was on uh, where was that over at Whiskey Joe's. The Wayne Wonder concert. She got to interview some oh, people. Wayne Wonder, yeah. And uh, we've been waiting to play her interview. So let's play that whole interview and we'll be right back. Dickinson reporting for Don Reese at Hollywood Connections 106.1 FM. And today we're here for the Wayne Wonder concert at Whiskey Joe's. Let's see if we can talk to a few people. Hi, sir. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Thank you. What's your name? Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Do you ever listen to a talk show? Oh, absolutely. Well, what is your favorite talk show host? Uh, Don Reese. Oh, Don Reese? What, 106.1? Yeah, can talk. What do you love so much about it? What I like about Dawn is she promotes a lot of the local talent and gets really involved in the local community. Well, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoy the show. And today I am here with Gina and Gigi. How long have you guys listened to Wayne Wonder? For years. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I love his music. He's awesome. Turn me on, turn me on. <laughs> I love his music. What is your favorite song by Wayne Wonder? Turn me on. Is this your first time ever seeing him? My first concert, seeing, my first time seeing him. I'm so excited. I'm like so excited. It's my first time too. Well, you heard it first. We're all here to see Wayne Wonder, and hopefully it's going to be a great concert and a great show. What are you doing here today, Linda? Coming to see Wayne Wonder. Wait, how long have you liked Wayne Wonder? How long have you been listening to him? Oh, it's been a number of years. Oh, really? What's your favorite song by him? No Letting Go. Why is that your favorite song? What does that do to you? Is that like inspiring to you? I love it. I love all reggae music. Well, it looks like you're all dressed and ready. It looks you're representing Wayne where he's from. Jamaica. Omar. Hi, Omar. How are you doing? 
Oh, great today. Hi, uh, I see that you have a lot of beautiful bathing suits out here. Can you tell me a little bit about your company? Well, our company is Natural Disaster. All these products we're doing for the Miami Carnival, the Miami Caribbean Carnival, taking place in October 8th and 9th. That's really cool. Uh, so you guys custom make these? Yes, we do. Well, what, where can we get in contact with you? You can get in contact with us at naturaldisaster.miami. And we have some flyers here, promo CDs to give away. We're going to do some raffles tonight. Some of that good stuff. My phone number is 954-773-1456. All right, thank you. So what is your favorite uh, talk show host? Don Ross with 106.1 FM. Thank you so much, Mr. Bonia. You're welcome. Have a great night. Yeah. I'm Katerina Dickinson reporting for Don Reese on 106.1 FM and today I am here with Keith Winslow they call me Keith the boss of the beach with Vibes Radio WBET and yeah. all the rest so anyways, if you'd like to see that full interview, go to hollywoodconnections.biz. I'll be having that up there later today with the Wayne Wonder interview. And we're going to have Katarina come in. And Katarina will actually be, um, you know, playing that clip as well with Wayne Wonder. So in the meantime, uh, while we are here, I know we have Mako. She's on the phone. She is a publishing company. If you're trying to write a book. Hi, Mako. How are you? Is Marco? How are you Michael, doing, Don? <laughs> I keep telling you, Marco is a shark. I'm a friend one to the check bounce them, just Mako, but for now, Marco. Marco, I know. I keep doing this. I'm thinking of the threshers over here. The shark. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bear with me. It's pouring down rain outside. It's like we should be playing the uh, tiki, no. tiki tiki room at Disneyland, you know, or Disney World. I uh, understand. Well, anyways, you have an author, author. They- yes, yeah, so I have an author on the phone with us, Rose Mack. Rose Mack is a singer, and she's a songwriter, and we are publishing her book currently, and her book is entitled The Lord and I. So I'd love for her to just speak to your audience about her book. Yes, please. Okay, and it's called The Lord and I? The Lord and I. And okay. It'll be on our website this weekend. Very nice. And it's a, is it a Christian theme? I can kind of set up how the story is on her book. What is it all about? Take it away, Rose. Um, okay. Um, I'm Rose Manicelli. I'm pleased to uh, speak with you. Um, my book actually is a story about my entire life from the day I was born until present. Um, and it's just trials and things that I had gone through in my life that the Lord and I have worked out, and he's guided me through and pulled me out. And um, it's just a wonderful book. I just want it to inspire someone that has any doubts about anything that they would want to achieve. That through the Lord, you can achieve anything. That's and, true. Um, I That's just think true. it won't inspire a lot of people. I always say give it to God. Watch things happen before you put your feet on the ground. In the morning, you thank him for that day. And your book is very inspiring. And uh, where can they buy the book? Where can they, you know, are you also doing any book signings? Yes, as a matter of fact, her book will be on our website this weekend, folkplayerspublishing.com. And then we are also booking her for several book parties. Rose is in Atlanta, near Atlanta. So we'll be back on your radio station to let everyone know where they can go and meet Rose and our NBA and our players that endorse, that have endorsed her. We love it. And that's what it's all about. And, you know, and give everybody, you know, your your number where to reach you. If they're trying to write a book, you're a publishing company Absolutely. and your website. Well, thank you so much. It is 954. It's a, it's a wonderful publishing company. I can highly recommend them. Yay. <laughs> thank you, Rose. We appreciate that. We truly do. Uh-huh. You may contact us directly, 954-687-4705, 954-687-4705. Four seven zero five. Our website is proplayerspublishing dot com, and we are available from seven a.m. until midnight Monday through Saturday. Again, I'm Marco, publisher and promotion for the NBA and NFL players. I know that's what's really exciting, King James. You know that, yeah. and she's going to help us with some players and some people that would be on the air with us, and uh, you know, for our young reporters. Well, I know if Mama yeah. Lubaba is listening, she'd be interested in that book. Yes. Especially on testimonies, because we were talking about that earlier today. We're, we're doing oh, wonderful. We're doing more of that, King James. We're bringing miracle yeah. stories to the show. That's what we were talking about, yeah. I agree. Yvonne Madison, she's uh, the co-host with Don Reese. 
Yes. And okay. she, she is, uh, we were talking about miracle stories because they're so interesting, uh-huh. you know. And as well, she works a lot uh, with children and drama. And this is uh, another th- project that we were working on together, too. So, oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's great. There's so much talent around here. And, and Yvonne and Dawn are really helping expose a lot of them. Like we have two young ladies in the studio now that we'll be introducing okay. that's coming up. And they just need some direction. And that's what uh, Dawn and Yvonne are doing for them. That's right. That's well, wonderful. Now, also, you, we have uh, the dad here. Stay on the phone with us. What is your name? My name is Alfonso. Hi there. And you also had met King James uh, on one of those mm-hmm. fluke like like we I did with somebody. Yeah. 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 We definitely we, uh, I met him. I, actually, I was in the mall at uh, International Cuts getting a haircut. And uh, and we bumped into each other and we started, uh, you know, having a conversation. He pretty much told me a little bit about himself and, okay. and about the station. And, and then we went from there. Well, I think you should write a book about your girls because, you know, with how they started out. So start documenting your life because you got a publisher on the phone. Do you have any questions for her? Anybody? Yeah, do you have a question? Uh, well, You're live uh, on the air. I, I, know my, I know my mother is into writing books and stuff, so uh, she definitely uh, trying to figure a way out, you know, what's the first step to do as far as uh, writing a book, you know, and, and getting with it, the right publisher and such. That's a good question. What is your first step in writing a book? I agree. What is the first step? The first step to writing any book, write the end of the book, and then you're writing towards the end. If you write the end, then that part has been accomplished. The only thing you're doing is writing towards that final chapter. Okay. Well, there we go. And so we're going to have more of your authors on as well. And I'd like a copy Thank of the book you. as well to read it and then really promote it on the show. We can talk about that. Thank you so much. We will definitely send you a copy, John, for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. And anyone that needs to have a publisher, give us a call, 954-687-4705. Ask for Marco, like a friendly shark. <laughs> Mako, that's right. <laughs> and we want to shout out to Mr. Paul Murray, photographer of the stars, a major artist that was a Jackson family's photographer and producer with a lot of things that they did. And, uh, you know, we want to thank him because we wouldn't have connected without Paul and, and you as well. Yes. We thank and you for that. And we're publishing his book as well. Yes. Yay. Sounds good. Thank you, Dawn. Uh, thank you. God bless. All right. Another wonderful book. All right. Book. God bless you all. Okay. We also have Ellen on the phone. And I know Kathleen Bradley will be calling in. Is she on yet? All right, it should be a few minutes from Los Angeles. And Ellen's going to tell us about her event coming up, which I think that might be an opportunity for you girls maybe to sing. I got an idea. Ellen, are you there? I'm here. Hi. Okay, tell everybody about your event that's coming up. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Ellen. Yes, I am so excited. We've been working really hard, Madeline and I have, on Mad Fashion Fundraiser. It's October the 29th at the Flamingo Resort and Water Park. The actual event starts at 10 a.m., beginning with vendors such as Tim Proctor from The Walking Dead, R2-D2 from Star Wars, and much more. And we also have a fashion show that will begin at 6 p.m. We have 120 models in our lineup with nine designers. We have special guests, which include Ashley Nicole and Joey Jeannie. Ooh, that's really exciting. Well, our reporters are going to be there covering the event. And the date again is? October the 29th. Yes, following directly after the fashion show will be our red carpet event, which will include Dawn Reese from Hollywood Connections, amongst others, and a after party following directly after that. Ooh. Hey, I got an idea. Peter, do you have that CD that the girls just gave you? Ellen, hold on. I want you to hear this. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, listen to this song, all right? Just listen to this and tell me. I want to come back to you in a minute. Sure.
So I have the two beautiful artists that King James Review found, and we met. What is this? It must be a mall thing because I've been meeting people on in the malls. <laughs> we should just have mall talent. Supposed to do a talent show there. I know we're working on it. So I, we're going to say, how old are you? I'm 16. And your name? Jalisa. And your sister? She's what? 14. 14. And everybody, uh, actually, that's on Facebook. Say hi. This is the mic for the live radio on five stations. Did you know that you were going to be on FM today? No, not no, today. No. <laughs> no? No. Are you twins? No. no, no. <laughs> they kind of harmonize together as well. That's why we call them images. Image. <laughs> and they're beautiful. Now, do you have a talent agent? I know your dad's the manager, but do you have a talent agent for TV, film, and print? No. Well, I don't. I, she probably I do. <laughs> okay. Who's your agent? Isn't it Ben's Model Agency and Diamond Agency? Oh, you're with Ben's and Diamond. They're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just had Keith from um, the Alexa Agency here as well. He'll be coming back on the air with us. Um, anyways, would you, um, Ellen, you're still there? I'm still here. Okay, so anyways, while we have you uh, listening, this is a young group, and these girls are beautiful. Um, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but maybe you can think about putting them in your show. Uh, you know, before you even mention that, and I forgot to mention to the listeners, that this is an event that is held for St. Jude's Children Cancer Research Hospital. Thank you. So the proceeds are going to go towards their, um, you know, their cause for the children as well as their families. And while I was listening to the song, I was listening to the words, and I, I could tell that it was a couple of young kids singing. And that's what it's all about. You know, we have adults and children models, but I'm really interested in all the child talent that we have around us. We have a child designer. We have a couple of children that are in our press and media, and uh, we have Ashley Nicole on board. She's a child uh, singer, and I would love to have them. If they would, I will approve them to do uh, an act at our show. I, I love them to sing that song. Actually, that's amazing. And um, I can just, you know, go ahead and add them to our, our press and media. They can grab their uh, passes on Eventbrite for press and media for their entry and um yeah we would love to have them i just need their link 
so that I can make the announcement and add them. That would be wonderful. Wow. See, um, Peter, do we have like an explosion? We got to do this. When Hollywood Connections connects somebody, <laughs> hold on, Peter, do we have something that's like a uh, kaboom, a ka- like a... Like so- dun, dun, or push. Yeah, like a firecracker or something strong because you just got connected on Hollywood yes. Connections. <laughs> and you're going to have top agents there and they can oh, sign yes. autographs mm-hmm. and everything. Yes. Yep. See, mm-hmm. aren't you glad you brought yep. them in? Mm-hmm. Well, That's wonderful. I, we're, we're looking forward to having you. I'm sure you're absolutely adorable with Don says you're beautiful. I am sure you are. Oh, wait to see their photos. I can't meet you in person. You know, send me a photo of them and their link. That way I can make a huge amount, announcement on our event page, which is in, on Facebook, and it's called Mad Fashion Fundraiser. If you guys want to go and take a look and browse through. You can see all of the designers that we have. We've got Maureen Bridal. We've got Vintage Fusion. We have Clam Marnie. We have Wicked Cute Kids. We have Kiki Couture. We have 120 models. They're all posted. They're beautiful. Uh, headshots are on there. And all of the different things that we're going to be doing, our agenda and location, in case you missed that. Again, it's the Flamingo Resort starring Kim Proctor and Ashley Nicole. And now we have these two young, beautiful girls along with Joy Jeanise. I can't wait. We are super excited. And that's October the 29th at uh, 10 a.m., but the actual show starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 10. Okay, well, there we go. And we're going to promote that until that event happens. And we want to thank you, Ellen, for uh, calling in and talking about the show. And girls, Peter, do we have that explosion? We need something. Hold on. Boom. We got to hear that again, Peter. (laughs) What is that, Peter? (laughs) That's a bomb right there. <laughs> we need like a firecracker. <laughs> I know I'm putting him on this spot, but we'll find something. Every time Hollywood Connections connects you with somebody, you're like Kino. You play Kino? Power Kino? I do. <laughs> well, when you, when you get that power ball, you get this like lightning strike. <laughs> yeah, big explosion. Boom. I know. I haven't been there for a while. I heard the Hard Rock is now charging $10. Maybe the compass. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that. But thank you, Ellen, so much for calling yeah, in. We love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you all go to Eventbrite to purchase your tickets. $20 each, $30 at the door. Thank you so much. We got you. Okay. And glad God is blessing you because you're feeling better and looking fabulous as always. Thank awesome. you, sweetheart. All right. Take thank care. you. Bye, Ellen. Bye. Okay, she's a beautiful lady. She's got the Mommy and Me show with her uh, daughter as well and some really exciting things that we're working on. So in the meantime, Peter, can we go to um, like a tropical song? Sure. You know, maybe my Fool's Gold one while I kind of rejuvenate with everybody here and talking. Girls, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And your song, and, and I want to talk to you afterwards. Can you stay so we can get some more interviews in just a short bit? Of course. Yes. Okay, that would be cool. And as we come back and you're listening, we have another hour, and we're going to get Kathleen Bradley on. I've got an actor in the house, 400 commercials, TV, and film. Fabulous. I'll be right back. Listen to my favorite tropical music.
So while you're listening to that tropical music, driving, going, oh, this is really cool. I like this music. We were doing musical chairs here. <laughs> and I, we want to thank uh, King James for filling in for Yvonne, my co-host. Oh, yeah. I'm proud to do it for her, that lady. She's a wonderful lady. And right now, you know, she's home taking care of your other I know. host con sponsor, Ben Luck. I know. Benny, yeah. we put our prayers out to him because he is our one of our producers and he had a stroke. And uh, we're going to go see him. And we've been really busy. And uh, our prayers, and, and we've been praying for him a lot to come out of this strong and superhero powers on that. Well, let him know we sent out some good drum energy to him, too, over the uh, Sunday. Uh, yeah. We yeah, love that. let him know. We love that. And a lot of prayers going through the church as well for him, too. Yeah. Now, we also have in the house, we're going to share the mic over here first. We have Darren, how are you? Great. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Hi, it's Don. a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put the, uh, actually, the Facebook on you here. Hold on. And uh, tell everybody, now, you've done over 400 commercials mm -hmm. and TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on the other line. Oh, somebody's still on the phone. <laughs> Is that Kathleen Bradley? We're, like, hearing no, echo. Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne. Is Yvonne on? <laughs> yes, I'm on. Hi, yeah. Yvonne. How, we miss you. I miss being there. I know. I was, for, I was here for a while. Uh, I heard the young lady sing, and I heard the lady that was the publisher. They were both very fabulous and very good. I have a my mo mother wrote a book of poetry, and I wanted to republish it, and so I'm very interested in that. <laughs> very cool because um, she's going to come back, and actually, she's going to come to the studio with us, Yvonne. So we're excited about that as well. Yeah. And you heard uh, about. Our food drive, we're bringing food cans for the, for the homeless that we're working for um, the Beaming Hope Church. We've got some really exciting things we're working on with them. And at the station, we're going to be having somebody drop off cans of food. There'll be a box here. And uh, it's, you know, on Myrtle here, and you can't miss it next to Naughty Nancy's. Okay, so. the young, the two, the little young uh, singers, they were very, very good. They were very nice. That was very nice. They Thank are you. beautiful young ladies. You And I think they can do anything. They could probably act, but right now they're singing, but... They've got all mm. kind of talent. That's I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Don Risa, and I want to thank you, King James, for sitting in for me because you know I've had a kind of a rough August. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. You just uh, take care of Benny over there and get back here. And, you know, I know it's a lot of puddles over in Tampa, so you don't want to oh, take the chance. Yes. Right. I, chance. I, I was looking forward to coming to the studio. But well, the rain got rained in. <laughs> well, guess what? We have some major VIPs in the house with us. And while you're on the phone, you can interview them as well. Let me introduce mm -hmm. Darren. Darren's in over 400 commercials, and he's been in TV, film. But the coolest thing is he's a star of Gift of the Heart. <laughs> mm. And say hi. Hi, guys. And we had Gift of the Heart last week. And then we're going to swing the mic over real quick. And we, we're going to come back. We'll be interviewing you very shortly. Tell everybody who you are. And uh, we're sharing the mic today. I know. And you are? Uh, my name is Adrian Blade. And I own Blade World Films. And we are uh, starting pre-production on a new movie called The Candy Cane Killer. The Candy Cane Killer. I saw some of that at the poster. Yeah. You know, somebody in the UK, one of my friends, we're going to have to get him back on here shortly because we have to call Kathleen Bradley. She must, I got times up in California. But they said, ask that director if he was ever in Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wasn't in Braveheart. I had a guy confuse me the other night and asked me if I was in Rush Hour, too. I said, uh, <laughs> just, that, just that kind of face. Yeah, well, you got that kind of look. That I, I know. He, I, I thought mm -hmm. I, I, you look familiar. I said, what movie did I see this guy in? <laughs> I know. And your friend that you brought with you? Uh, this is my assistant director, Robert Smith. Hi, Robert. How are you? Good. How are you? Fabulous. Thank you for driving in from Orlando. How was the traffic? Wet. I know. I mean, <laughs> oh, oh my God. It, a little bit of a ways, but yeah. thank you for coming in. And you're going to spend the next hour with us as well. I hope that's okay. That's fine. Awesome. Yvonne. Well, Yvonne, do you have a question for um, any of the guests here? Uh, no. Uh, the director, did he say the candy cane, C A N E? Uh, the, what's the name of the film? Candy cane killers? Yes. Can oh, the candy, candy cane. 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 Like, is it oh, more of a Halloween um, thing that you're doing? It's or a is... serial killer thriller. It's got a lot of action in it, but it's basically about a, a serial killer, and his trademark is leaving a candy cane behind. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. He said candy cane remind me of something to do with children. Oh, but it's more of adults, right? I mean, more like... Oh, a, oh no, no, it's definitely an adult movie. Adult, yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we have some very controversial uh, topics in the movie. So, yes. yeah, it's not something you'd want to bring you. Have you started to. production? Have, have you started production yet? Although we do have a 15-year-old boy playing the young candy cane killer. 
So. Ah. Oh. Uh-huh. She was wondering if you I, started production yet on it. We started pre-production. Uh, we started yeah. shooting October 1st. Oh, okay. And um, also, you, you said you have some things that you might be looking for some talent by, by chance, maybe some extras. We're still looking for extras. We have a couple of parts that are still vacant, but we've had a great response. Uh, we have some fairly well-known actors from Florida. Uh, Robert's been in quite a few productions. He's also an actor. Uh, we have a, a girl by the name of Jessica Lemon that's been in a few. Uh, we just uh, signed another girl, Bree Tilton, and she was in uh, the rodeo, the Longest Ride, which was a rodeo movie that was released not too long ago. And then uh, one of the lead detectives is uh, Ra Raul Colon, and he's presently filming a Marvel movie in Atlanta right now. Oh wow! So okay, uh, we've got some really good talent. And oh, where will you be uh, shooting? Where, where would they? Uh, Elias from uh, uh, Genesis Action Stunts is going to be doing all the choreography for the stunts, and he's mm. also a detective in the movie. She wanted to know where you, where will you be shooting? We're getting you another uh, headset here. <laughs> we're going to be shooting mostly in Central Florida. It's going to be pretty much from Orlando to Daytona Beach. Okay, okay. Because mm -hmm. Yvonne, she's a drama teacher, and her and I have been talking about doing some kids' production together. So. Maybe have something down the road. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I, I have a question because, you know, we're going to come back to you, Darren, in a second, you know, and, and you're all in the in the business here. A lot of people think, and, and this is somebody that I know is watching on Facebook, and this is for you, and you know who you are. You know, a lot of people say you don't believe in my child or you don't believe in uh, in them, or it, it's not mm -hmm. the believe in them because mm -hmm. if we didn't believe in somebody, we wouldn't bring them in on board. Right. But it's, you know, the bottom line is you need your headshots and your resume. Can you explain that to a lot of the moms out there? It's really, I, I get a lot of calls, you know, and, and they want to get connected in show business and they don't want to be taken. And that's what this show is all about to help people. Mm -hmm. share, share the mic. Yeah, so actually it's, uh, it's, it's very important. And, and, and it's like any other, any other job that you do, you, know, you got to pay your dues. And your dues is you do start working on student films and you start, you know, doing some other stuff like that. Some, Freelancing that you know where you're not necessarily getting paid to do it, but you get that exposure in front of the camera, obviously honing your craft. So that's where all of us began. Um, and then you know, as as you work on different sets, you work with different directors, you meet different actors, and you network, and and pretty soon you're you know you're you're doing commercials and you're, you're doing a whole bunch of other stuff and feature films. And so it's about paying your dues, and you know you gotta you gotta start where everybody starts, and that's gonna be an extra where you know walk it in the background or something. But right. we've all been there. It's oh, just I know. Part of, it's just part of the growth. Right? I tell everybody go to frontrunnercasting.com, go to crowdshotcasting.com. You know, and the thing is, that there's a lot of teenagers too on my show, and they're reporters, and the moms want to know, you know, where do they go? For student films in this area is it all the way to Orlando with full sale or you know advice on that and I know Ellen Jacoby's been on the show and she's coming here and she said you need an agent before you come to me mm -hmm. you know yeah there are a lot of colleges in the in the area that offer um, student film production programs yeah, full sales one the mm -hmm. University of Florida uh, USF has a, a, a film program um, several of the local schools even Valencia College over in Orlando they also have a film program so there, there is ample opportunity for, for people who are young in the business. I won't say necessarily young in age, but young in the business to get involved in acting. But that's where you begin. You begin by, um, by working on student films and honing your craft. And, and that's where you show people how good of an actor you are and, and people like you. And, you, and that's where you, you, know, you pick up more work. I agree. I agree. And also, too, is what is your website? Where can people go to? Well, our website's in production right now, but it will be bladeworldfilms.com. Uh, we have a Facebook page now, uh, Blade World Films. Also, uh, I was a musician back in Colorado. I'm still a musician, but I had a band back there called Radiation Romeo. In Colorado? Yes. I'm, oh, I'm from cool. Denver. Okay. So I've been here since last August, so I'm fairly new to the area, and I've been very lucky to, to work with some of the best people around. Uh, this has been a very blessed project. And... Uh, uh, but I had a band back there that was doing very well, and uh, we have CDs out, you know, worldwide, uh, and you can get them on Amazon, iTunes, and uh, that's going to be featured in the film. Okay. Uh, that one of the songs called "Monster Inside" actually spawned this film. Uh, there was a line in there that says, "I'm a candy cane killer preying on the innocent," mm -hmm. and oh, wow. uh, so that is that is going to be with the title song of the movie. <laughs> uh, so I mean, everything's kind of tied together. That I've been doing, which uh, this project is uh, in the last two months has just blown up. 
I mean, the response is Now, do you song. play guitar? or? I play bass, guitar, keyboards, drums. Well, I'm, everything on the CD is me. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow, he's a musician. So yes. I have my own recording studio. Uh, <laughs> so I, I produce music as well as, as film. Well, where's, where's the studio located? Uh, the studio is in Deland, Florida. Uh-huh. I, so uh, that's where the film studio is and the music studio. So, uh, But it's, uh, it's kind of a joint project with me. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the soundtrack also uh, since some of the songs off the CD will be featured in there. Uh, it's it's uh, kind of all tied together. I don't know. It just kind of fell into place. So. Well, any kind of information on that? And location-wise, I've been around here for 25 years looking for locations. Yvonne's over in Hillsborough County, so she's well familiar over in that area. So, well, any? We're, we're getting some very good locations. We're going to be shooting at the Swamp House uh, in DeBerry, which uh, I guess one of Adam Sandler's movies was filmed there, uh, Waterboy. Oh, uh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we're uh, having a cool. scene where the killer escapes, and he gets to escape on a boat down mm -hmm. the St. John's River. Uh, there's another really nice club I'm working on right now called Da Vinci's. Hopefully they will let us shoot there. We've already had permission to shoot at the uh, farmer's market uh, in DeLand. And uh, I, just the, the, the opportunities are, you know, opening up pretty wide for this film. So, Question, did you, are you the author? Yes. The yes. The author? He's the producer. Author? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, wrote oh, the, I wrote the screenplay, and, and then uh, basically, I, I'm, hopefully, I'm just going to be directing. Uh, oh, okay. Right now, uh, I'm probably going to be shooting the film, too, and doing some of the editing, but we're hoping to find a good DP, and, uh, you know, doing the job of 300 is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> I know. Sounds like you're doing it all. <laughs> well, you know, I have Alexia, too. Alexia is one of my top, and she does a lot of the horror movies as well. She just got into Hollywood, but we're going to come right back because we're going to the top of the hour. Darren, you're going to be featured as well. We're going to talk about all your commercials, everything you've been doing with Gift of the Heart. You're both all of us with us for the other another hour here. And Peter, take it away for the news for the top of the hour. We'll be right back. Tune in. Okay. WTAN, Clearwater, Tampa Bay. WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay. WZHR, Zephyr Hills, Tampa Bay. Listen. Softened tone, email scourge. I'm Barbara Kusak. GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump defended his call for a wall on the Mexican border during his visit to meet that country's president, but he did not talk about who would pay for it. In contrast to earlier comments branding Mexican migrants rapists and murderers, Trump said... The United States first, second, and third generation Mexicans are just beyond reproach. Spectacular, spectacular, hardworking people. Trump delivers an immigration address in Phoenix tonight. Those emails continue to be the nightmare that just won't go away for Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Here's the latest from correspondent Joe John. Team Clinton is bracing for the FBI's public release of its report investigating Clinton's use of a private email server as more uncovered emails are making headlines and giving Trump fresh lines of attack. Stocks closed for their first losing month since February. I'm Barbara Kusak. Two days before the official government jobs report is due, a private survey shows solid job growth this month. U.S. businesses added 177,000 jobs in August, according to payroll processor ADP, suggesting that, according to a private survey, hiring remains healthy after two months of strong gains. ADP says the job growth was driven by such things as retailers, financial services firms, and professional and business services. I'm Evan Haining. Brazil impeached President Dilma Rousseff, a move State Department spokesman John Kirby says was legal. We believe that Brazil's democratic institutions have acted within its constitutional framework. 
Michael Temer took the oath of office as Brazil's new president. Commercial air travel between the U.S. and Cuba, once again a reality for the first time in more than half a century. A JetBlue flight from Florida landed today in the central Cuban city of Santa Clara. I'm Barbara Cusack. Napa know-how. A Napa guy knows that by the foot, there's no better ride than an old station wagon. Room for six people facing forward, two people facing backward, and a whole lot of luggage, lumber, and bicycles haphazardly strapped to the roof. If you can parallel park that beast, you can park anything. And with some quality parts and a little Napa know-how, you can keep your land ship running longer, stronger. It's not obsolete. It's a rare treasure. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. What good is history if you never change? And what good is change if it doesn't make you better? At Valvoline, we believe in getting the most out of everything, including your high mileage engine. That's why we developed Max Life, specially formulated to protect against the hidden signs of aging in cars over 75,000 miles. So help maximize the life of your engine with Max Life from Valvoline. 150 years under the hood. For DIY tips, hot rides, cool merch, and exclusive content, head over to teamvalvoline.com. Join for free today. If you would like to become a wholesale buyer of the premium quality longevity product that you hear about right here on the Tantalk Radio Network for personal service, you can pick up the phone right now and call Lola at 727-441-3311. Again, that's Lola at 727-441-3311. Or for even faster service, log on to TantalkHealth.com. That's TantalkHealth.com. Here's your health and longevity. Have you ever had the desire to do something adventurous, exciting, fun, delicious, or suspicious, and don't know why or when it hit you? Well, now you'll know. 4413311. Yes, you'll hear it right here on your own local radio station. You can shout your message to the world, get people to come to your business, enjoy your services or goods, and the good news is it's affordable. Call 4413311. That's 727-441-3311. And, oh, by the way, my name is Lola. Hi, I'm Katrina Madewell, host of Tampa Home Talk. I'm going to give you market-appropriate, timely information regarding homeownership matters because we want to make your everyday life better. Wherever you are in life, it's our mission to bring you good advice so you can maintain good credit, live within your means, and build wealth. My team and I are passionate about it. Love where you live or I'll fix it. Tampa Home Talk on WTAN every Thursday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Let's Go Bowling, heard on the Tan Talk Radio Network every Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 12 Eastern Time. Sponsored by 12 Strike, an innovative ball spinner. If you bowl, if you haven't bowled in a while, or if you never bowled, why don't you be one of 65 million people have bowled last year? Listen to the tip of the week. Bowling stars, old and new. Let's Go Bowling Show. GoBowlingShow.com. Welcome to Hollywood. Hi, I'm Dawn Reese with Hollywood Connections on Wednesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. on Tantalk Radio with major film directors, celebrities, casting directors, agents, producers, and so much more. I even have reporters on red carpet events around the United States and around the world. Do you want to audition? Do you have talent? Do you want to be discovered? Do you want to be a beauty queen or a reporter for me? Call now, 727-871-7788. We have weekly auditions right here near the stations. Go to HollywoodConnections.biz. I'm Dawn Reese, your host. Tune in. Hi, I'm Katrina Madewell, host of Tampa Home Talk. I'm going to give you market-appropriate, timely information regarding homeownership matters because we want to make your everyday life better. Wherever you are in life, it's our mission to bring you good advice so you can maintain good credit, live within your means, and build wealth. My team and I are passionate about it. Love where you live or I'll fix it. Tampa Home Talk on WTAN every Thursday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Don't turn it off now. You need this stuff. Tampa Bay's Tantalk Radio Network. And now your second hour of Hollywood Connections with Don Reese. Yeah. 
I'm like looking at like, oh, I like this intro. Hi, welcome to Hollywood Connections at 7.07 p.m. And if you actually saw me, what I'm doing after, you know, our quick break for the minute of the news, I'm running back to Peter. I'm like, do you have this song? This artist is calling in from Vegas. We got this MP3 from this major director. I got Darren here. I got three other people that came in the station. I'm like, okay, chill time. (laughs) (laughs) And I got Yvonne still on the phone, right? Oh, she's still here with us? Oh, Good. yay. Okay, Yvonne, we're also having King of the Hollywood Blues. Uh, Gene Anderson was on tour with the Funkadelics as well. Dear friend of mine walked me down the aisle in Las Vegas when we got I married. Remember. I remember that. I know. What a memory maker. And he's in Vegas, and he'll be calling in. And also, I want to tell everybody at 7.30, because she had it mixed up on times, Kathleen Bradley from The Price is Right will be calling in. She's got a new opportunity for business for everybody, and I just went under her on something, and she's going to explain it and how everything works. And if oh, you, okay. Was, wasn't she on before? Yeah, she was, but there's a new business opportunity, Yvonne, that she has. It's called um, a Game Loot, but she's going to tell you all about it. And oh, what she's okay. doing in the grand opening is going to be in Vegas, and it's pretty cool. What I saw, what she's, what she's, um, what she's up to, and you know, here she is, uh, you know, still in the business and making things happen. So mm-hmm. seven thirty, she's going to call in, and we're really excited. Now, in the meantime, Peter, while he's on the phone, we're going to go to your MP3 for a okay. second before we forget, and then we're going to come back to Darren because Darren's going to be with us for the full hour as well. And while Peter is getting that MP3 ready, um, I do want to ask you, I, you know, anybody that's out there, I have two more days. I help an independent producer at Home Shopping Network. And so what I'm doing is I'm working with Keith Urban, Randy Jackson, Joy Mangano. Yeah. So if you guys are anybody out there that wants to maybe try out for one of the testimonies, you will um, actually send in a video to me saying why you would like the Keith Urban guitar. I'm working on that one right now. And send me a video to dr. Hollywood Connections at gmail.com. Now think of Dr. Hollywood, because <laughs> that's my initials. And so what you'll do is say, hi, Rob Anderson and Dawn Reese. I would like the Keith Urban guitar because, now you play guitar. I do. We yeah. should send you. <laughs> I have an artist that's here that is going to play live on the air shortly, and we're going to audition him for the Keith Urban guitar. Awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to send it in. Yes, please, Darren, jump in. You were sharing today. <laughs> I actually, I actually um, did the Randy Jackson guitar for HSN, and actually I have the Randy Jackson guitar. Oh, how do you like it? I love it. It's great. It sounds great. It has great music. I mean, it sounds clear. Well, we're going to have mean, to have you come price, back and play great. the guitar. I play the guitar, and I sing, too. In fact, I don't know if you remember this years ago, Don, but... How we met was me singing at the bar when I was like 20. I know. That was like 13 years ago. That was a long time ago. That was in Orlando when I was there. Mm-hmm. I know we go way back and people come back and say, Don, remember back when I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I, sang, I sang Dirty Pop from NSYNC. I'll never forget that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And look what all you've done in 13 years. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, quick. And when we met, what was I, was I working with Sherry at the time, the top agent? Or? I think so. I think actually you were just, it was just, you're starting, you're getting... Getting going. in, yeah. We're doing interviews. We oh, did, that's we did right. An interview actually out here in St. Pete a long, while back ago. We about did six, about six, seven years ago. It's so funny. I half the stuff is up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I have only four thousand sh- clips up there. <laughs> four, she beats me. I have one hundred and fifty-six to be exact. <laughs> but you're in the business, and that's what counts. So, Peter, let's go to um, this amazing artist. Tell everybody your name again. Uh, my name's Adrian Blade, and he's a film director. And we also have his um, as assistant director. Robert Smith. That's right. And you, you're also an artist, so we're going to play your music. Yes. Okay, yes. and we'll be right back. Now, do you have your music on the MP3?
Okay. So that's a little bit of your music, and that you just said something. Yeah, King James. I was, I was um, wanted to ask him where he got his inspiration from because uh, I watch Criminal Minds all the time, and uh, you know they they got different scenarios of all the serial killers. Uh, when I was younger, uh, I was uh, actually a corrections officer uh, for the criminally insane, Ooh. and I worked wow. a maximum security <laughs> ward, so I got to deal with those people. I, I shouldn't say that, I guess, but. Firsthand, yeah. I mean, you know, they had there were some very uh, unusual characters. Oh, yeah. uh, some of them you couldn't even tell. Uh, my girlfriend walked in one night, and uh, there was a guy sitting on my desk that was blonde hair, blue eyed, very good looking. And she she brought me lunch, and she goes, "How long have you been working with him?" And I said, "Well, uh, I don't work with him. He's an inmate." And she said, "He's an inmate. What would he do?" And I said, "Well, the doctor said he had one episode, and uh, he killed his family, and he cut him up and put him in the freezer, and then." Ate them for about six months. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, he, thank God we're working with. Uh, 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 related to Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. So, so Beaming Hope kind of, Church is here in the house. <laughs> so I just took my experiences from dealing with everybody like that, and I kind of rolled it all into one character. Uh-huh. And uh, then I, I gave it to Rob, and I said, now you add your part to it. So uh, he's done a great job so far, uh, from what I can tell. I mean, from talking to him and and his ideas. Uh, he actually was there from day one when mm-hmm. I came up with this idea. Uh, the first, Literally the first night, he went home and said he had a dream about it and came back and he said, I got the hook for it. And I thought, oh, I like this guy. We just met. Oh, so, right. uh, oh wow. So we, okay. uh, we became friends over the next few days and we've kept in touch. And I said, I want this guy to play the lead. I want him as a killer. Wow. And uh, he's been perfect. So, and he's helped me greatly. Uh, so now he's my assistant director, and, and he's the star of the movie. So we have actually like a more horror film, you know, kind of not really, but a serial killer film. It's got a little, it's not going to be so much horror, but there is a lot of twists and turns, and there's a lot of psychological uh, 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 situations. So uh, it's, a, it's a chess game between him and the lead detective all the way through. And you're shooting here in Florida. We're excited. Yes. Now, I have a special VIP guest on the line from Las Vegas, Nevada. My dear friend that walked me down the aisle, king of the Hollywood blues, Gene Anderson. How are you, Gene? I'm in wonderful condition because I'm talking to the most magnificent person I know, Miss Don Reese. Thank you, Gene. And we love you. And uh, tell- how are you? How's your illustrious husband? He's fabulous. Yes, Mr. Arnold is uh, getting the boat. We have a charter, a seven. He actually, oh, my God. Th- I know he got the best of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys here, you know the Funkadelics, Gene Anderson. Yes, absolutely. Say hi to Gene. Yeah, uh, Funkadelics, we, we, we front them up around the world. How you doing tonight, Gene? I'm doing excellent. Matter of fact, I'm so blessed. I, I've got to teach myself to make sure that is true. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Gene. This is Darren. How are you? I'm great, Darren. How are you doing, my friend? I'm glad to hear your voice. You as well. I hear great things that you're doing up there. Man, let me tell you, so many things are happening. Matter of fact, the Black Music Association has inducted me into the Las Vegas Music Hall of Fame. Oh, oh. Congratulations. congratulations. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. We have a congratulations song. Me. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. They got Del uh, amazing. Red Fox. Uh, Prince Spencer, Sammy Davis Jr., and somehow, I don't know how it happened, but somehow they got me up to the I said, uh oh. That is amazing. Oh, you are definitely among the royalty. Well, you know, Gene used to open up for Red Fox, and Red Fox was his mentor and best friend down there. Yeah, you know? well, Red Fox brought me to the, he brought me to the town. Mm. Mm. Can I tell you a story, real quick? Uh, this is story time on Hollywood Connections. Ivana, are you still there? Yes. Yes. I'm still here. I know. Hi. Say hi to Jean. Our co-host is at home today. But Jean, how are you? Hey, hey. hey. Our <laughs> Miss Beautiful Yvonne. Well, you know, when Jean and I had met, I was at the pre-Grammy event, and I was working actually with uh, Mr. Brown. I was his entertainment reporter out of college, and uh, Jean was there with Ed Townsend. Remember Ed, Jean? Yeah, Ed Townsend. He wrote that song for your love, and he wrote. Just get it on for one of the Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. I remember. I remember. Yeah, really. And that was my guy. Mm-hmm. 
I know. And so what Gene happened to have, this is what's funny. Gene saw me, and then he actually kind of kidnapped me. He took me to the side, and he goes, I've got all of these screenplays, and they're so good. And he took my car keys, and he, he wouldn't let me go out of Kinko's. <laughs> and then we became best friends. But the main cool thing was Ed Townsend, um, we were on the pre-Grammy event, and you looked over at Ed and said, give Dawn a million dollars for her TV show. And uh, remember that? Yeah, I told Ed, we was in the middle of television interview. I told Ed that you never you promised her a million dollars. He almost swallowed his finger off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, my dear friend. And I, I want to. I told Ed, I said, Ed, you got to give us girl. You promised you're going to give us a million dollars. He said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Gene has believed in what I'm doing and Hollywood connections with my reporters out there and everybody. And, you know, do we have one of Gene's songs? Hold on, Gene. He's going to play something of yours. There's so many songs on oh, YouTube. That's wonderful. All right, hold on the line, Gene. Hold on. Excellent. Hold on. inspired by Michael Jackson back in the day so that's why when I wrote my album my album is completely pop music because Billy Jean when they uh when they wrote Billy Jean it was everything I mean I literally had probably about 10 10 probably about nine or ten videos on YouTube of me just just literally doing nothing but Michael Jackson's moonwalk Michael Jackson's Billy Jean music yeah. I mean, he did everything oh, yeah. that, <laughs> that, that boy had, Bill, man, Michael Jackson had like for me just was an m- amazing talent I mean no one could Beat him, could not, could just not. There you go. I know. <laughs> I, know. I mean, he was a king of pop, and you get to work with. I mean, you guys are all amazing up there. I would love to come up there and visit y'all one time because, you know, after, so I, I always told my mother to this day, African American music people who write Af- African American music that write the, the most people that write the songs, they have the most soul at any style that I've ever met because, I I used to I I write songs I I, I perform them I mean. They can't. They can't be beaten. <laughs> Even Elvis Presley had African American writers. Amazing. You guys are awesome. Well, oh, you know, man. let me explain something to you. <laughs> Down at Memphis, Tennessee, the music was mixed. All of the mixed, all of the Aretha Franklin stuff. It was cut by white and black guys. Yep. yep I all that, that Elvis Presley stuff was cut by white and black That's guys. True. Oh yeah, I agree. So it ain't just a one ethnic no, type I know. of. Oh, I know, I know it's that. It's a collaborated thing on the, the the realism of what your purpose is. Right, I agree. And the purpose is to be able to get the most out of the composition and to be able to fulfill the, the request of your fans. It's I agree. all about the fans. It ain't about oh, you. Oh, I agree. It's not. You are, you are a representative of what your fan base requires. That's right. And you're fortunate if you have enough fans to require things from you. Right, and I, I know it's also you know white and African American, of course, but you know it's just that they they have amazing writers. I mean, they're just well, fantastic you know what, what they do. That boy, that boy, uh, 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 uh what's his name? Uh, uh, um, uh, the which Darren? Michael what's Jackson. Guy? What's his name? Uh, 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 that that that. that the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> what old guy? Name? He he wrote all the hits. Um, Willie Nelson. Oh yeah, oh, Willie Nelson. Willie fantastic, Nelson. yeah, no. fantastic. Willie Nelson wrote a gang of hit for Ray Charles. That's right. So it is. I I yeah, can understand. It's both I think, both sides. I, I think it's also the presentation of the right. music. Uh, they wrote. Uh, so you know the game goes on and on and around and around. I agree. Willie Nelson could write. 
Because I used to write songs, but yeah, I true. think what they talk puts you to the music. Well, Nelson's one of the greatest writers for whatever kind of music in the world. Yeah. Yes, but the person who, who's expressing And you music. know, it was two white guys wrote all the hits for the coasters. True. Charlie Brown and all that stuff. I agree. I agree. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a mixed it's, it's, No, it's, it's a mixed mis- <laughs> color, white or African American. It's just that. Uh, I just know the the soul, like Soul Train. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I grew up loving. So that's that's yeah. where well, I come from. You know what? Soul Train was a spinoff of Dick Clark's dance. That's show. true. That is true. Yeah, you're that's right. Yeah, right. So, See, she educates so me. She educates me because I'm young. It's an interweaving thing. It's about the American people's that's right. music. I agree. And we all have More a we all have a that. contribution. Yes. That's right. That's where it is. The contribution is massive. It's true. Oh, could I ask a question? Yes, yeah, Yvonne, you're our co-host. Yeah. I, the other music, uh, I heard you speak about somebody named Adrian Blake and Robert Smith, uh, and then you played some music. What type of music was that? Who? Uh, <laughs> Adrian uh. Blake and... I, and Robert Smith. No, you're talking about no. Huey Blake. No, it's, uh, no, no. it's, it's, <laughs> it's Blade, but that's okay. Oh, that's uh, you, yes. Yeah, that's me. She's Hi. talking about the music she played. You played earlier. Yes, we also yeah, have another. I, I, I was interested in that music because I had never really, I I never heard music exactly like that before. Uh, uh, what what genre? What what type of music is that? What kind of style is that? Well, I, I, it's basically just rock and roll with some techno. Okay. Uh, okay. But uh, I just. Uh, I hope I don't sound like anybody else, but uh, well, you know what? That rock and roll with techno it reminds me of a group called. You ever heard of them called Lizard Gizzard? Absolutely, yes. yes. I've heard of that. Yes, that's rock and roll techno. Right, right. Yeah, the, uh, we. So that's I'm I'm doing techno stuff now. I got a new group called the Shampoo Poo People, and we got some stuff <laughs> up on YouTube. <laughs> It's C H A M P O O P O O people, and we got a song called uh, I, I will uh, check that uh, out. Uh, I promise. It's called it, the Electric Jump Party. You can go up on YouTube and pull it down. And and a techno dance hero. That's rock and roll. That's called funk techno. F U N K techno. I'm looking forward to it. That sounds awesome. Thank you. I will so, look that so up. So you can go up online. Let me tell you that techno music. It has people don't really know it, but it has about Six different genres of techno. I oh, know. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, also, t- I, I, I'm familiar with that. I'm cutting a lot of that now. That's awesome. And Gene, you also have a champagne that you're you're. I, tell everybody about that. Your champagne. Yes, I do. It's called Gene Anderson, sparkling wine of the stars. If you feel like a star, then drink like a star. <laughs> AKA also known as the Shampoo Crew. That's right. And every star from, you've had so many stars around you, Gene. Actually, they're promoting your, you know, uh, sh- you know champagne. Yeah. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino, yep. uh, Wolfgang Puck, uh, Eddie Griffin, George Clinton, uh, 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 Ice Cube, Ice T. <laughs> That's awesome. Flavor Flav. Flav Flav in the house. Hey, Flav Gene. Flav. Gene. 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 Send, on, send on a case. Yes. Hey, now, actually, we're trying to get Gene Anderson here. We have some promoters, and we're trying to get him booked. So we have a promoter that worked with, Wayne, you know, uh, Wayne Wonder. And uh, so he wants to perform here. If anybody can help us out, Promoters Land. And also, if anybody wants to start selling that, you know, champagne that he has, uh, we can get him in the stores. So, you know, we need people that would like to be distributors. Right, Gene? Exactly. Matter of fact, uh, your promoter had called me. Oh. He's interested in my in my tribute show. You know, we got a big Las Vegas tribute show. It's called the Shampoo Poo Galaxy of Tribute Stars, All Kings. We have a Michael Jackson. We have a Elvis Presley, a Buddy Holly, a Rick James, Martha and Van uh, um Sidney Lauper. And and yours truly doing the P Funk and the orchestra. So we got a major Las Vegas show, and your guys talking about bringing it down there to Florida. So, hey, look but, out, here we come. The keys, here we come. Hold on. Hey, Peter, where's that kaboom? Do we have that? Hold because on, that's man. another Hollywood Connections. And there we go. Listen, uh, Darmese, I'll be in Vegas on the 21st. Oh, good. Uh, like, 
I'd like to see that show. Yes, and Jean, uh, our co-host is going to be there, so please uh, make sure she has front row seat. And uh, yes. absolutely, have her get in touch with me. And if we play anywhere here, we're not on the road. She'll be more than welcome as my personal guest through you, and we will treat her with most dignified royalty as she would never believe. Because what we do, we pour champagne, shampoo, poo, and we also give roses to the young ladies in the audience because we got the only show on Las Vegas that's the audience participating show. Wow. Well, well, Jean, guess guess what we're doing this weekend, September 2nd and 3rd, from 1 p.m. at the Florida Hotel and Conference Center. I'll be at the Florida Mall for Sunburst uh, Showcase Celebrity Impersonators and Top Agents. So I'm going to be over there. Uh, if you go to uh, sunburstconvention.com, check it out for their parking and their showcase and their general public. The phone number is 407 226 Nine. Hold on. Called reading glasses. <laughs> Have you all saw me? Yes, I'm looking. 866-342-9310 is toll free. 866-342-9310 or 407-226-9088. Talk to Greg and Check out Sunburst Convention. Gene Anderson, thank you so much for calling in. We're going to have you on more John often. Reese, I would do anything for you. You've been so wonderful for my career. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Don Reese is the only woman I know that have had every kind of beauty pageants and for the <laughs> kids have been able to make them stars that have grown up from from being uh, 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 musketeers. <laughs> and instead of basketball being Don Cateers to superstars. Hey, hey. Go, we, girl, go. Thank you. Jean's actually seen us, you know, through the years, people that have been on America's Got Talent and people that have taken off and young kids that we've seen taken off to be stars. So we're really excited. Jean, we love Big you. Big stars. Yes, they actually are. And, you know, we have, uh, you know, a lot that are on tour with Capitol Records right now, the hairs, uh, with uh, Brandon and Savannah. She was one of my beauty queens. And they're on tour. Thank you. Another kaboom. That is means if you got a connection, you're going to get a kaboom. <laughs> it was great speaking Thank with you, you Thank Say you. y'all, I've been on, but now I'm gone. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And hey, God Jean. be your blessing. Gene, this is Darren. Thank, Thank you so much for educating me on a lot of writers that, you know, that I that didn't mention, I you know, but... Uh, thank you for educating me more on music because uh, you definitely be worried know yourself. Don't about it, brother. Just stay in show business and, it, and you'll be part of the education. We want I agree. Of that, I agree. You want some of that poo-poo drink? That's <laughs> not <laughs> poo-poo for I, you. I, you I was to feel you. like a star and drink like a star. That's right. I grew, up, I grew up with the Soul Train, so I, I know what you mean. It's good music. Great music. All right, then. Have a blessed day, everybody. Goodbye. Bye, Jamie. Love you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, so that was Gene Anderson, King of the Hollywood Blues, my dear friend from over 20 years. I can bring back memories. And So anyways, do we have our VIP guest on the line yet? Yes, we do. Hi, <laughs> Kathleen Bradley. Hang on, hold on. Peter's ready for you, Kathleen. Hold hey. on. Play that music, Peter. All right. <laughs> oh, kaboom. Yeah, we got that because that's a Hollywood connection. But you know what we're doing. There's a TV show she used to be on. Hold on. Wait, that's rock and roll. Peter, <laughs> are you Just working with us? Kind of kaboomy. <laughs> because looking for a kaboom. Hold on. I'm doing the right intro, Kathleen. Hold on a second. All right. I'll he wait. had it all set up. And so when he does this, so in the meantime, we also are having, you know, some other guests in the house that we're going to bring on shortly. Beaming Hope Church is here. We have an artist that's going to audition live for uh, Home Shopping Network. And Peter, are you ready? All right. Play that music. Hold on. You'll know who she is. She's not rock and roll, Peter. <laughs> now, I bet Peter does not do this on his show. He's all set. He's got the sports web. He's got everything completely perfect. If you got the sports web, is the Redskins Don playing Reed. tonight? Don, Don Reed. <laughs> got the right script. Yes. Hey, Don. Yes. I think, I think Peter needs some of that shampoo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, Peter. Poo-poo oh, drink. Right. Poo-poo poo poo drink. You. I, uh, he had everything queued up back then. Like, everything's there. <laughs> Okay, Fire, Peter. Fire. Okay, well, we're playing the intro of the show that she used to be on, Peter. Okay, so can before you do that, Peter, because we're live on the air, and can can you go to her intro that I sent you? Yes, I can. Hold on a minute. All right, let's go to this intro first. Kathleen, hold on. Yes, ma'am. Okay, listen to this, everybody. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why we're hearing rock and roll music. 
I'm a little rock and roll baby. Okay. <laughs> I want everybody to know this lady is amazing. She's a top model. She's got a business opportunity for everybody around the world. And while Peter's trying to do that, I don't think lightning struck her tower again. And I don't know what's happening. I don't back know there. what's playing in the background. Hold on a minute. Okay. So in the meantime, Kathleen Bradley, I went under her, and she's got this new opportunity for business for everybody. Yeah. And uh, so, but they all got to know who she is. And we got another two minutes, Peter. Are we ready? <laughs> I okay. Think they'll know once four people play every oh, hold on. Listen to this, everybody. We'll be right back. Your friends invite you to play on your Facebook and other social medias. Not just here in the United States, but all over the world. The mobile gaming obsession is global. Now, can you imagine getting paid for people playing these games or people that are in your organization that live in Canada, Australia, India, Mexico, Bahamas, and so on? There are currently over seven countries outside of the U.S. that accept ambassadors as of now. I've been in network marketing. You're in the shy lights? All of my adult I'm from the south side of And I've never seen anything like this. It is a very well-planned-out strategic uh, marketing plan that... Game Loop Network has devised, and it's basically based on the forced matrix system, meaning when you're building your team and other people get involved, that you put them or place them in a very strategic place right in your system. And it just goes on and on like that. It's based on three people bringing in three people bringing in three people. And you build your uh, whole organization together while you're making money and having fun. Believe me, it's a no-brainer. When my friend... Okay, so Kathleen... There we go. <laughs> Okay, that was Kathleen. That was the right, Peter. Here you go. Okay, that is Kathleen Bradley. She was the first African-American model on the Price is Right TV show. And so you heard a little bit about her intro, and there's so much more to that because we only have a half-hour show. But Kathleen, tell everybody why they should go under me because I'm under you. Well, first of all, they uh, know what work you're doing. What I'm doing under you, are you doing on top of me? Uh huh. <laughs> well, you know, like on the marketing level, you know. Oh, so- sounds like something else, huh? Some people might want to get on top of us and below, huh? Oh, now, now. So- hey, let me just talk- start from the top. Um, what it is, people out there, it is called Game Loot Network. Game Loop Network is the biggest thing that's hit town since you want to slice bread. And what it is, it's part of the mobile gaming industry. And the mobile gaming industry is a $40 billion, billion dollar industry. As a matter of fact, you know, Kim Kardashian, she actually made $45 million on one game alone. And you see these people walking down the street all into their compu- uh, phones and tripping over sidewalks and running into cars, running into cliffs, chasing after Pokemon, all of that. Well, Game Loot Network has its own set of games right now, and they're allowing us as ambassadors and affiliates to get a part, a share into that revenue stream. So we're getting paid people by introducing people to the company, whether you play the games or not. We are ambassadors. We come into the company at a certain rate, and then we get three people, only three people, to duplicate ourselves, and those three get three, and those three get three. It's called the forced matrix. And from there, they have all kind of bonuses, and they award you money and bonuses. It is so uh, phenomenal. It's easy, and it's fun. So I got my girl... Uh, Dawn involved in it yesterday, and she's just hot, hot, hot to go with it. And we're sharing with everybody. It's not nothing you have to sell. It's what you do is you share it and get paid. And, and Kathleen, uh, do you have your speaker on your phone? Is yes, there a, I do. Is that a problem? Yeah, I was trying to. Yeah, we're we're just getting a little echo okay. on some things. Yeah, can you take off a speaker? Okay, now is that better? Much better, much better. We're gonna have Kathleen call in once a week as well and talk about this. And uh, Dawn, I have a question. Isn't that something like the pyramid? The pyramid Let me say thing? this about this. You know, the world was built on a pyramid. A pyra- There's nothing wrong with a pyramid, and what it is, it is divided like a triangle. Okay. And yeah, I never. Make, 
Uh, and when people you, think py- pyramid, they think uh, scheme, this, that, and the other, because it's got a bad yeah. note, a connotation yeah, on pyramid. A bad, a but, bad. but it is not a scheme. It's not a scam. But it is based on a triangle, and pyramids are triangles, so you can say that. But the thing is, it, what it is, it is network marketing at its best, and also it's what multi-level it marketing. What Pardon? is the product? The what product is, is called Game Loot Network. It's the mobile gaming industry. And what we are doing, the people go in and play games on this uh, uh, with their games. That We have like eight games right now that the company has introduced. And that people, you know how people just go in and you can play Angry uh, Birds, you can play Candy Crush, uh, I'm, I'm got Pokemon, li- all I've of those games. The framework. Okay. And what's the, what, what do you have to invest for this? The, the, the initial investment is $124.99. Now, the thing you need to do is as soon as you get three people in, and we're called am, game ambassadors. When you get three game ambassadors in, the company pays you immediately $250 bonus. Plus, you will start getting paid $5 a day, every day. The company pays out weekly. It is deposited, and you get your own website. You have a back office. You have a where you can order different things, your earnings, your payroll, uh, marketing arcade. They give you all the marketing tools, uh, quick contacts, all kind of things in your back office. You can see your genealogy and your downline, which means, you know, the people that you brought into the company. Mm-hmm. And it is just an incredible um, situation. I've been in network marketing darn near all of my adult life. I've never seen anything like this. This company has really gotten it right. You don't have to go out and sell any vitamins, no candles, no vibrators, none of that stuff. Everybody's selling things, but you don't. You share this with people. And people that play oh. games, it's fine. If you don't play games, you don't have to. So, Yvonne, yeah. I have that information I'm going to send you tonight yeah. on everything. Okay, do that. Do that for me, Don. Awesome. Thank you very much, Ms. Scott. And that's welcome. Kathleen Bradley. I'd like you to call in once a week if you can and really talk about this and we'll keep promoting it on the air because we're, you know, five stations, 2 FM and 3 AM. Oh, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll have to do that because Clearwater, Florida is on fire with this right now, too. So people better get on board. That's it's right. It's really happening everywhere, actually all over. Well, next week, Kathleen, on the both hours, I'd like you to call in because I know people would like to ask you questions about your life and how you started. But anybody here have a question for Kathleen Bradley? The Price is Right model. And, Don, make sure you tell people how they can go in and look at your website so they can get it. you want to give that uh, call letters out? Thank you. Actually, I just put it on hollywoodconnections.biz. You can go right there and sign up right oh. now. And I just need three people under me, and then I get my money back. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Right now, I'm making $20 a day. That's fair enough. I make $20 a day in my sleep. My husband and I, the other morning, and we were on vacation, and then when we got home, he said, well, honey, I got to get up and go to work. He said, but you, you're making money already, and you're just sleeping. I'm like, that's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's so supportive, and I'm building my team right now, and everybody from 18 years old to 80, we got people involved in this company. Well, and I'm I, just real oh, excited about boy. it. Blind, cripple, or crazy. I know. Yeah, there's there a, you go. Blind, cripple, well, or crazy. <laughs> also, Kathleen, we have you calling in on Mina's show on Sunday, the Grown and Sexy show, because the ladies are excited to interview you as well and ask you some questions about being a model, and they are oh. so super excited, and that's between 7.30, actually 7.30 on Sunday as well. You'll be calling in the station. Okay. Awesome. So wherever I'm at. And this is, you know, I keep forgetting this, the Labor Day weekend coming up, people. That's right. Oh, that's great. That means people are going to be able to get in contact with a lot of people personally and face face to face and make sure that they're they know about this business that's what i'm talking about you know <laughs> you you said something earlier uh, that i think would inspire a lot of people i know i'd be interested in making money in while i sleep that's what we tell people you know sometimes people are a little reluctant or shy to go and like to being somebody. a tooth fairy <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah or talk to them this is and my daughter she's 34 believe it or not and She's involved in the company, and she's like, well, Mom, I don't want to bother people. I don't want to go. I don't want to force. It's no forcing. It's really sharing. What you do, you hit that person's go button, the why button, the what button that you're talking to. Like, let me show you how you can get that car you want to get. Let me show you how you can pay off a debt. Do you know that $20 a month for some people is the difference between bankruptcy and going into bad debt? Just $20 a month extra some people might want. 
with this company uh, affords you that opportunity, and, and, and very easily it can happen. I tell you, I'm so excited about it. I've got my whole family involved in it so they can pay me back. <laughs> well, and you don't have to go to the prices right and try to win that car. You can make that car with that with that new business opportunity with Kathleen. You can. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. That's the beauty of it. Sharing to people and letting them know how they can benefit from it. Everybody's going to benefit from each other. That's the key. Very so cool. We have all that lined up. I'm at, I'm available for people who get involved. I have a special number that people can call me on and I would be t- uh, more than happy to talk to them about the 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 uh, what we're doing and how to get involved in it and it's just real exciting. That's right. And I'd like to bring your son on. He's a singer. I'd like you to bring him on maybe next week and play his music. And uh, we're really excited because you're a golfer. I know we have golfers in the house that, you know, would like to ask you questions and you're just at a charity. Oh, yes. Love but to play golf. <laughs> we're going to get you back on next week, Kathleen Bradley. And thank you so much for calling in. And we're going to go to a new artist that's going to audition for Home Shopping Network right now. But, Kathleen, thank you so much. God bless. And we'll hear you uh, next week again on Hollywood Connections on Tantalk 106.1 All FM. All right. Thanks, Love Kathleen. Ya. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 So, see that live? I keep waving because we're live on the internet right there up in the corner. Like, right up on top. Anyway, so we're not going to talk where we met, but we okay. were another coincidental sure. thing. We met at the mall. Harmonic Convergence. Yeah. <laughs> so, everybody, you know, tell everybody who you are. My name is Bradley Stoner. I'm a singer, songwriter, uh, musician, I like to call it. It's kind of like magic, but... Yeah, it all depends on you. Now, I yeah. sent Peter some Music of... Music is my, my, my medicina, yes. I know, and, and you have a car. I said, I need to get you on Robert's show because you got a, you're into cars. Oh, I've been into cars since before I could steal them. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all those, like, you're, like you're, in, you're talking about what... Vintage automobiles, yeah. I've, I've, this is the newest vehicle I've ever owned right now. It's a 19... Or was it 2003? I can't even say 2003. I mean, my tongue isn't trained to do that. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah. I've, I was driving a '59 El Camino in my early 20s, and I went to a uh, '66 Buick Special. Uh, I came from Bradenton, Florida. Actually, it was I had it up in Minnesota, and I've driven all different kinds. Wrenched, bust my knuckles. And one thing about wrenching on old cars, and it's a love, uh, it's a passion, you know. So, but what you should do before you ever start doing any wrenching is just get a ball peen hammer and take your hand and put it on a table and smash it right away, and then get that over with. So then you can start getting the bloodletting going and taking off those, get cutting your knuckles on a on a clamp or. You know what I mean. Just kind of get in the game. You well, know? we need your That's knuckles on your guitar because it is seven yeah. forty-five. I, I, I did give. I, I gave that up though a little bit. I'll let the young fellers do it now. I love it. Now, do you want? I, I sent Peter some of your songs. Okay. And uh, do you want to play live for us, or um, or both? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll play. I'll play live or uh, He's going to play I'll, live. I'll play both. And actually. I'm sending him for the Keith Urban guitar. We're also going to audition. He's auditioning live for Rob Anderson right here. And uh, why would you want a Keith Urban guitar? Well. To tell you honest to God, truth, I haven't played them, but I know that nowadays there's a lot of great guitar, uh, inexpensive guitars coming out for people that, you know, if you're a, if you're a, I got a $5,000 guitar right here, but, you know, I played since the 1968, and uh, I kind of deserved it after a while, but if you're starting out and you really want to have a good quality guitar, a lot of these guitars in this range are what you want to start out with, you don't got to spend a ton of money, and uh, I'd definitely start out with something of a good quality and five hundred dollars and under or even three hundred dollars and under it just depends on what you want to invest in it and what what it's worth to you so you know yeah, like old cars you know i think she's talking free guitar <laughs> now free well that's a good price tag see <laughs> free was it lenny kravitz said well, i think he said uh it, a guitar you spend more than eight hundred dollars on a guitar and you're spending too much money so. mm. well the reason for you is not for real free but you have to you know Earn go on home shopping network and do the testimony oh okay and tell why you want it but let's hear yeah. some of your music we had well, 747 yeah. i still have another guest in the house as well and we're gonna also have you come back but listen to this amazing artist well i give you a little background I wrote this song. Uh, I used to go to the desert a lot. I traded sand for sand with water. I was in Arizona for several years, and then uh, there is no water. So now I got sand, and it's hotter than hell, and now it's water with sand. So I'll take the water and the sand. So It's called Hopeful Opal. I met a kid in a bar, and he was uh, shaking some rocks in, my, in front of me, and I'm like, what, what's that? And he goes... I go, how much you pay for them? He looked, he's all bummed out. He had holes in his pants. And I said, how much you pay for them rocks? He said, I paid 80 bucks. I said, you gave a man $80 for some rocks? And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. 
So like two years later, I was going to the bar going, check these bucks out, man. Like I got these bucks, like 50 bucks, you know. So I, was, I, I wrote the song. It's called Hopeful Opal, and it's about the, uh, it's about the uh, desert uh, snowbird people like you get here, you know, but they're over there. But it's awfully beautiful in the desert, but uh, I sure do love the ocean here. And, or I call it the ocean. But. This is called Hopeful Opal, and it's about all the crazy rock junkies and truckers. It's right on Highway 10, Quartzsite, Arizona, and going to Silly Al's, a place we'd try to walk behind our show and go to the bar so we didn't get in any, any financial trouble. This is called Hopeful Opal. Out in the sunlight you can see her right That hopeful opal held up to the light She's a real gem of mine Out in quartzsite drinking wine She's my little hopeful opal tonight And when you hold her knowing it feels right then she'll surround you in that fire light Always knowing that she's mine I can see her fire line She's my little hopeful opal tonight These are the husbands and they're their wives Out in the desert sunsets living up their lives so lay me down and cross your heart We're hunkered down in quartzsite tonight And baby, it's alright I can see her fire line She's my little hopeful opal tonight These are the boxcar kids on golden years and the pilot jamming to Rucker's bang handy so gears And the rock hound lovers picking up both their ears and cord side tonight And baby it's alright I can see her fire line She's my little hopeful oval tonight Now as for him, Korea has long gone And we're finding out that Grandpa, he's an unsung song But Betty kept them kids together while he was marching along And baby, it's alright, I can see her fire line She's my little hopeful opal tonight And we've been coming here for 15 years Down to silly gals and nearly drank a bowl His beer Now the moon is right and let's not fight Let's walk that wash in side tonight And baby it's alright I can see her fire light She's my little hopeful oval tonight And baby, it's all right I can see them Tyson lights So let's walk that wash in quartzsite tonight And baby, it's all right I can see her fire light She's my little hopeful hopeful tonight
Thank you. <laughs> I know we're back on. I want to have you come back next week because you have a miracle story. And we have like six minutes left. And I want to thank everybody for being here and driving in from Orlando with your film. In the meantime, let's go to this quick commercial with Beaming Hope Church. And I've got Michelle here. We're just going to have 30 second spot just real quick. And if you're looking for a church, we're having a food drive here for this Beaming Hope Church. And I have Michelle here. Are we ready, Peter? Just trying to get it ready here. I don't know why it's not playing. Okay, in the meantime, we have Michelle here. She is from Beaming Hope Church. How are you, Michelle? I'm awesome, Don. How are you? You are live on five stations. Tell us why your church is so special, you know, and, and if you need to land someplace, this is a great place to land. Um, well, we do a lot for the community, and um, we're reaching out. We do food drives every single week. Um, Giving. Free food. Loving. We sharing. Times a week. Is it on? Okay, he's playing your commercial. Okay, awesome. Are we on, Peter? Giving, loving, sharing. Beaming Hope Church invites you to join us every Sunday at 10 a.m. Come early and sign up for our free food pantry weekly at 11,110th Avenue North in Largo. For more information, Check us out at www.beaminghope.org. Awesome. Okay, so Michelle, also, you know, um, we're really impressed because Bert, my husband, and I went to your church. And, we, you know, we've gone to different churches around and we're trying to land, you know. And we're like, you'll know the church that you are being called to. And I saw, it was so funny because my husband goes, okay, it went a little longer than we thought. And he was so hungry. And I said, well, there's a food truck out there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, really, you are helping people. And you've been in this church and you sing as well. Yes, I'm part of the praise and worship team. And we were really just led by the Holy Spirit and, and just go where God's leading us, just reaching out to the community and just sharing and bringing hope back to, to the people. Because people agree. are really desperate right now. Well, you know what also impressed me? I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, honey, why is there a washing machine up on, on the altar? And why is there this up there? And um, your pastor, you know, was saying that he's giving things away to the you know congre congregation for the people that need it. Yeah, we're having a huge giveaway on uh, October, I'm sorry, September 11th. And um, it's over $2,000 in products. We're just giving away, raffling everything off. We're going to just call them um, Love Our City Sunday. And we're just really trying to make everyone, um, let everybody know that we're here and what we're doing and um, to come and join us. What I was impressed too, he's giving a car away in October. That we're... Maybe? we're that's not 100%. We're just, we're like 98% sure That's what he said, that. 98%. So right. we're, but yes, that's been um, something in my pastor's heart to do. Well, you know, when I'm sitting there and, you know, when you go to a masseuse, right, you know, when that masseuse hits every pre pressure, pressure point on your body, well, that pastor hit every pressure point in my heart, in my body. And I will tell you, I came out so refreshed and I feel so good over there, you know, and what was his name, the pastor? Pastor Joe. Pastor, Pastor Joe, yep. a shout out to you and your yeah. beautiful wife. And it's also in Spanish, too. His wife is, is, is speaks Spanish, so she... Yep, so she translates. So while he's preaching, she's translating um, in Spanish to for the whole community. That's right. Now, also, Michelle brought... Now, I don't know if the guys are interested, but you brought something <laughs> over. And I know I have two girls out there that they are very interested, the singers. Yeah. But we have to minus two. Okay. But, um, you know, you also, you also have something going on with a, a makeup yes. company. Yeah, so um, Origins, it's actually where I work. Um, this is a, a new matcha mask, and it's packed with antioxidants. It's really awesome. It just revitalizes the skin, and it makes your skin renewed and refreshed. So got one for you too, Peter. <laughs> it's not going to forget you. <laughs> I know, I don't. And again, let's go back to Beaming Hope Church and where they can go. The website? Um, you can go to beaminghope.org, and our service is Sundays at 10 a.m., and come before the service and sign up for the free food um, every week. So deadline's about 9, 9.30, I think, is the cutoff. Well, you know, your pastor said, you know, we just don't give expired cans. We give steak. We give eggs. We give really healthful foods for people that need it, you know, on that. Absolutely. I know we have three minutes. I do want to thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. Say hello. Um, again, your website for your film. Blade World Film. Oh, take that. Bladeworldfilm.com. That's right. And maybe we can help you out with some of the castings. I know some people that would like to audition. That would be great. Awesome. Great. And thank you guys for coming here. Hope you had fun. Thank you okay, so we'll much. And thank also, you so much, Don. Bradley, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me with Holly. 
Hollywood Connections. This is so very lovely. And I'll tell you, you have a really nice class act studio thank this you this is cool i mean as you know have you seen some studios yes, this place is nice like you could settle down and raise a small family here <laughs> well you know what There's i a like bathroom and everything i like when i first came here years ago that bible everything. in front of me right there that bible that's what you know came in and i said okay i'm god sent here but i'll tell you and darren you are coming back we have more we didn't do much with you today i know with uh, everybody coming in thank you darren say say goodbye and your website your facebook wait come up to the mic your mic yeah and Darren, you're coming back next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to make it back next week. If, uh, if I'm not booked on anything, I have a lot of commercials coming up. But uh, if you want to check out my work, it's www.darrenpferraro at jimdo.com. Um, I have done a lot of work, but I, I mean, I want to come back next week and you know, yes. let them know more about what I'm doing and also and how you I can get, help these gentlemen out as well. We're going to take phone calls and how you got to be an actor. Definitely, so definitely. this is kind of like part you know, one. It's, it, it, every, every film and commercial I do is like makes me the most humble person ever to be in this business. To okay. be in the music or acting, it's it's very uh very very great. It's very well, good. We're gonna we have what thirty seconds here. Thank you everybody. Hollywoodconnections.biz. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you so Kathleen much. Bradley, The Price Is Right. Gene Anderson, King of the Hollywood Blues, and my husband Bert Arnold, and everybody and Michelle. Thank you for being here. God bless. Thank Give it to him. Guys. Watch things happen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. WTAN, Clearwater, Tampa Bay. WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay. WZHR, Zephyr Hills, Tampa Bay. Listen. Approaching storm, I'm Barbara Kusak. GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump delivers his speech on immigration tonight in Phoenix. It follows today's visit with the president of Mexico in Mexico City. Democratic Congressman Joaquin Castro of Texas weighs in. He has a form of political multiple personality disorder. What we saw today in Mexico was almost this reserved, contrite Donald Trump. Uh, and then he goes to his rally and he's very aggressive and very bombastic and stirring people's fears and resentments. Forecasters say Tropical Storm Hermine could be near hurricane strength by tomorrow night as it approaches the Gulf Coast. Meteorologist Jennifer Gray is tracking the storm. The storm has strengthened just a little bit, still has winds of about 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 60. Now the track did shift a little bit farther to the west. It is starting to pick up a little bit of speed. Florida Governor Rick Scott has warned residents about the threat of flooding and power loss. I'm Barbara Kusak. Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton told the American Legion Convention she plans to work to strengthen the VA if elected president. We are going to build a 21st century Department of Veterans Affairs that delivers world-class care. And we are not going to let anyone privatize the VA. We're going to reform and strengthen it, not privatize it. The U.S. Supreme Court has refused to reinstate North Carolina's voter identification requirement and keep just 10 early voting days this fall. A September court date has been tentatively set for singer Chris Brown after he was arrested on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon. Brown's attorney, Mark Garagos. My client's position is, is that we're cooperating, there's no truth to it, and uh, we're going to let it play out. A woman said that Brown pointed a gun at her during a gathering at his home, and he was then arrested after an hours-long standoff. I'm Barbara Kusak. What if you could store your IRA or 401k where you could see, touch, and hold it in person in the form of physical gold and silver coins? With the Augusta Gold and Silver IRA, you can transfer retirement savings into physical coins and store them where you can actually see them. Getting started is absolutely free, so call now, 855-858-5807. Call toll-free, 855-858-5807.